Good morning. Good morning. Do you know what today is? For some, it may seem like just an, another ordinary day. But for believers all over the world, today is Good Friday. Over 2,000 years ago, on this very day, Jesus gave his life for us on the cross. Yes, he did. D.A. Carson wrote, It was not nails that held Jesus to that wretched cross. It was his resolution out of love for his Father to do his Father's will. And it was his love for sinners like you and me. It's a good day. Because he traded places for you and for me. Yeah. It's a good day because he conquered sin and death so that we would never be apart from God, this side of heaven or on the other. So here's the question. What happened on Good Friday? Well, let's talk about it. Jesus was arrested in the middle of the night and he was taken to Caiaphas' house. He was the high priest. They were conducting an unlawful trial looking for evidence that would justify putting Jesus to death, but they couldn't find any evidence proving him guilty. He was innocent and perfect. So finally, the high priest falsely accused Jesus of treason against the Roman Empire for claiming to be the king of the Jews and for urging people not to pay their taxes. However, Pilate knew Jesus wasn't guilty of any crime innocent. at all, yet the mob wanted to crucify him. Mm -hmm. So he washed his hands of it and did what the crowd wanted. That's right. That day, Jesus was flogged 39 times with a cat of nine tails and ordered to carry that cross to the execution site. After he was nailed to it, he was given a crown of thorns and the title King of the Jews. The cross was placed between two other men who were being crucified that day. And the soldiers nailed Jesus to that cross and they left him there to die. Jesus struggled for six hours, according to the Bible. When he eventually gave up his spirit, Darkness fell all across the land. Then at noon, strange things began to happen. The yes. sky grew dark for about three hours, and Jesus cried out, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And then he died. The curtain of the temple was mysteriously torn in, in two from top to bottom, and there was an earthquake. It was Friday afternoon, mm -hmm. and the Sabbath would start at sundown. But it wasn't just any Sabbath. It was during the Passover celebration, making it a very, very special Passover. After Jesus' body was taken down from the cross, he was wrapped in strips of cloth and laid in the tomb, where Roman guards were sent to guard the tomb to ensure no one stole the body or spread rumors that he wasn't dead. Finally, three days later, Jesus rose from the dead right. and conquered the grave. If you haven't read the complete story of the crucifixion recently, today's a perfect day. Yeah. You can revisit it right now. Take the time today, even though the Bible doesn't tell us to celebrate Good Friday, we observe it and we call it Good Friday because God has been so good to us by restoring the relationship back to him through the shed blood of his son. But God demonstrated his own love for us while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So no matter how you choose to observe today, let the significance of Good Friday cause your heart to cry out to God in humility repentance and restoration to him. Yes. He wants relationship, not religion. That's right. Thanks for joining us this morning for our devotion. If you don't have a church family, you are always, always welcome at Mountain Movers Church. We hope you'll join us this Sunday as we celebrate Easter. We have two incredible campuses with multiple life-changing experience times. You can join us at our Grove Campus at 9.30 or 11 a.m. Or you can join our Without Walls Campus online at 9.30 and 6 p.m. Either way, we can't wait to see you on Sunday.